Hey guys, Alberto Productions here. This is an odd video that you weren't expecting from me, but I felt like my channel needs new videos coming out at least semi-consistently. I recently finished my latest semester at the university, so I have some free time to make videos for you guys. Don't worry, you'll still get both reviews and animations as those are what my two primary focuses are on this channel. This is just a little way to make up for not being able to post a full video in either of those categories for a good while. Plus, I have shown off my school projects before, both in high school and college, and I don't plan on stopping that. I believe they are fun ways to show you guys what I learned in school so you can hopefully get inspired in some way. For today's video, the latest project I want to show off is an app design for my interactive design class. I will go through the different steps in the process of making it. Let's start with step 1. This is the shortest step of the bunch. I needed to pick from different categories which were decision makers, remote collaboration, meaningful connections, and conscientious spending. I chose decision makers. Then I created storyboards of three different app concepts based on the path I've chosen. Each of them make it clear what the app's goal is as well as who the target users are for it. The first storyboard was an exercise decision app aimed at teenagers and young adults who want to find out the best exercise they could be doing at a particular moment. The second was a decision app aimed at school teachers who want to know the best method of teaching their young school students. And the last one was an art motivation app aimed at young artists who need some kind of guidance and drive when creating their artwork. The last one will ultimately be the app concept I went with in the end. Once I selected the app concept, I created these low fidelity or lo-fi prototypes, which are basically quickly made proofs of concept before moving on to the high fidelity version. I used paper and pencil to create two lo-fi prototypes of the same app. I will play these two prototype videos for you now. Hello guys, this is the title screen of the Art Motivation app, which allows users to feel like they can do the best artwork possible through advice and motivating messages. What we're looking at right now is the title screen of the app, so here we're going to be pressing start. After you click start, you get to the login screen. You can either have an account on the site or you can join as a guest, which means you won't have saved data. We're going to do the login. After the login, we get to the main home page. Here you'll see different options. One is the timer setting, where you can get motivated while doing an activity. Another feature is meter, which allows the user to view a motivation meter that can be filled up. On the bottom of the screen, you can see two global navigation buttons that say account and music. On other pages, you'll see the home button. We'll click on the timer feature. Here you'll see two different timer options. One is stopwatch and another is time limit, both of which are self-explanatory. We're just going to click on stopwatch. After you click the time option, you get a question asking what are you going to draw specifically. It can be anything like a tree, a person, a still life piece, or anything like that. You select from the drop down menu, as that changes the responses you'll get during the artwork process. Once you choose, you see a clock either ticking up or down. When the clock is ticking, advice periodically pops up on screen and you'll hear classic music along with it. There's also a stop timer button if you finish early or you want to stop early. After the timer section, you complete a short survey asking how the advice was and whether you are pleased with your drawing. Once you are finished with the survey, the meter fills up. If you fill up the entire meter, you can say you are fully motivated. The best way to build up this meter is by doing art regularly. Once it's filled up, you can fill up another meter to start over, with the previous meter being saved in a number format. To get out of the screen, we're going to click the home button. Now that you've clicked the home button, you're back at the home page. We're going to click the account button on the bottom. You're looking at the account page that contains your information, as well as the time spent today on the app. Now we're going to click on the music button setting. The music setting allows you to adjust the volume of the music during the artwork portion of the app, and you can even make a custom music order for the tracks that you'll hear. And that's all of the pages for this app. We are at the title screen of version B of the Art Motivations app. Not too different from version A, but now it says touch screen to start. So just touch anywhere on the screen to begin your journey. Now we're at the login screen where you can choose your email and create a password. But being a guest is optional even though you'll lack the data saving options. So we're just going to log in. After the login, you get to the main menu. Here you see the timer and meter settings, which are in a different layout than before. This time, the global navigation buttons are on the top and are more stylized. So we are going to click on the timer button. Now you select the timer you want. I'm going to pick stopwatch. 
After selecting the timer, we get a question on the subject of the artwork, which needs to be selected from a small list this time rather than the drop down menu. We're gonna pick the tree option. Now we see the clock counting up. Unlike version A of this app where the motivation text comes up at various points, there's a voice instead that comes up at different points along with the classical music. The stop button is still here. Just like before, when the timer is done, you complete a short survey asking how the advice was and whether you are pleased with your drawing. It's done only with yes and no options this time. The meter fills up afterward. If you fill up the entire meter, you can say you are fully motivated. The best way to build up this meter is by doing art regularly. Once it's filled up, you can fill up another meter to start over, with the previous meter being saved in a number format. So now we're going to click on the home page. Now that we're back at the home page, we're going to be clicking on the account button. This is the account page with details about you and the total time you spent on the app today. So now we're going to click on the music section. The music setting allows you to adjust the volume of the music as well as the motivation voice, along with the custom order for the classic music used. And those are all the pages for this app. I would like to ask you guys which version of the app that you like more and what improvements could I make to either of these apps. Thank you for watching this video. After I made these prototypes, I had to move on to the high fidelity or hi-fi prototype. For this final prototype, I used a website called Figma. For those unaware, Figma is a collaborative web application for interface design. You can create unique interfaces while also being able to use templates and assets from others in the Figma community. It's a good and easy way to plan out your app design without needing to go through a more complicated coding process. It was at this point that I decided I wanted a cute cartoon character that could be the face of the app in order to make it stand out more and have its own unique identity. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Dan E. Lion. He is an original character of mine that I spent a few years trying to figure out the best design for. I felt that a lion with a cube-shaped mane looked very appealing and distinct, so that's what I went with. He's a protagonist of an animated short called What the Fish, and he will be appearing in more cartoons from me in the near future. What I did in this Figma app is design the different pages with a global navigation bar at the bottom that takes you back to the home page, lets you access your profile, and allows you to change the music. The app doesn't have music, but this is just a prototype so it won't have everything finalized. The pages are linked like a giant web, and that's pretty easy to control. The link to the prototype is in the description of this video so you can try it out for yourself. It works on both computers and phones. I will show you a walkthrough video for this app that explains how the functions work. Enjoy! Hello guys, my name is Alberto Herrera and today I present to you my Figma app design which is the art motivation app featuring my original character Dan E. Lion. So we're at the title screen and we press start. We're skipping the login by the way. So now we're at the main menu screen of the app which has three main options, timer, meter, and art collection. There's a global navigation here but we're going to talk about that later. So we're going to start with the timer. So it takes you to a screen that asks you what the subject of the artwork today is. So we're going to pick any of these options. So we're going to pick um, hand and now we're at the stopwatch timer. So here is the character dandelion giving you the art motivation. And right here is underneath the timer we have the retry button to restart it, the start feature and the finish feature. So we're going to press start. And yeah, the timer is going off and when you press the stop feature, it stops the timer. But when you press start again, it resumes the timer. So when we press the retry button, the timer starts over. So we're going to press finish. It takes you to a survey that asks if the motivation was helpful. So you press yes and it takes you to a meter screen which shows the meters that you filled up so far and the number of meters that you filled so far which is at zero. So after this you click at home and when you click on the meter button at the main menu it shows you the same screen. So click home and then the art collection screen. So it lets you post your art collection up here as a private collection. So I used a few examples of my own art here for this example. So here's this one, the next one, next one, and finally this one. So let's click home. And now we're going to talk about the global navigations. So click on this icon and then it shows you your profile, your email, your name, your password, the time spent today, and the meters that you filled up. So we click back home and then try the music one and it gives you the music playlists, which has classical music examples here. 
and the volume button I mean the volume scroller so you can scroll it up and down like this so yep yep now we go back home and now we're at the main menu again so that's all I have to show for this app I created this app for young artists who want to get motivated while they are doing their artwork so that's why I decided on this app concept thank you guys for watching and please let me know what you think of this app so that was the demonstration of my app concept. To be perfectly honest, I was originally nervous because I thought that I wouldn't know how to pull off something like this as I was not really a coding type of guy. I had the same concern back in high school when I was learning how to use Photoshop. But you know what? I was able to figure it out thanks to me not wanting to give up as well as help from my teacher and the tutorials they provided, which made the learning experience much more smooth like the skin of a dolphin. So thank you all for watching this video. I have three questions that you can answer if you'd like. One, what do you think of the art motivation app prototype? Two, what could be modified in this app? Three, would you use this app if it was actually real? This has been Alberto Productions and I will see you all next time.